What's up team? We are back once again answering a really popular question which happens to be how to eat healthy on the go. So the first point, let's talk about prep. Do not stop this video. We're not talking about food preparation. We've said it a million times, but not everybody wants to food prep. So what can you do? You can prep your day, find out where you're gonna be, what restaurants you're gonna be around with, and who you're gonna be eating with. Yeah, if you're going to a certain area of London, let's say for example, and you know what shops are around, what restaurants are around, most of the big chains now have their menus online. So you can look online and start with say, oh, that's not really got anything I want. Oh yeah, I'd like to eat here. Oh, look, that looks pretty healthy. That looks lower calorie. And you can choose where you want to go via your phone. Yeah, and you're not going, it's not too anal, is it? No. It's just something that's going to take a couple of minutes and you can go, oh, actually, I'm going to plot my route out over the day. This is where I'm going to have my breakfast. This is where I'm going to have my lunch. And this is where I'm going to have my tea. And you will save yourself so much uh, panic yeah. picking when you get there. And when it comes to breakfast as well, a lot of the bigger chains now, especially like the Starbucks, the Pret, even the coffee shops, they basically have started to make slightly healthier alternatives of breakfast. They're not particularly amazing. Pano chocolate? They're, yeah, they're, they're not all just pano chocolates now. <laughs> I mean, for example, if you went really, really basic, Prep do a great little snack, which is the boiled eggs and spinach in a little pot. Again, that's not particularly flamboyant. Uh, oh, I know, flamboyant! You know that? <laughs> Starbucks do the one that you like. Yeah, they do scrambled, the scrambled eggs, some pine nuts, some spinach, and some tomatoes. And the thing that's great, it's not cold. No. They heat it up, which is always a nice And they all do soups and oats and stuff like that, which you can get with a French stick if you want. Yeah, so it's just a case of spending a little bit more time checking when you're in there. Or, as we said earlier, prep before you go in, because otherwise you just go, beeline, pan of chocolate, Americano, see you later, yeah, yeah, bye yeah. bye calories. Yeah. Another really important time where we start to get a little bit confused, and sometimes, especially around this time of the year in the UK, summer's coming, we can go a little bit too far. You know that, I'm having a healthy lunch, I'm just gonna have a salad, I'm just gonna have a bag of nuts. Right, that's all well and good, but it's not gonna fill you up. You're gonna turn around and get a bag of nuts, it's gonna have a shit ton of calories in there, but it's not necessarily satiating, it's not gonna keep you full. It means in an hour's time, you're gonna go, boss, can I just pop out? Just need to get a little bit of snack. And over the day and over the week, you will actually find out normally that you end up consuming more calories than if you just had a meal. I just laughed halfway through that, the fact that you put our summer in inverted brackets, <laughs> as if it doesn't happen. <laughs> because it's the UK. <laughs> <laughs> So the main thing with eating out is you don't tend to have as much control as you do is if you make your food at home. Like you're not gonna be weighing stuff out and not everyone wants to do that and that is totally cool because I've completely forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what I was gonna say was... It oh. was great, wasn't it? It was a good point. It was, was world-changing, mate. It was. <laughs> um, so it can very easily and quickly appear like you're out of control and you have no rules when you eat out. Yeah, it feels yeah, like, yeah. oh, I'm not in control of everything compared to when you're at home, you're food prepping, you're weighing your food. But you're not. Once you kind of understand that you are in control, it becomes a lot easier. Yeah. But you just have to make your rules a little bit different. You have to play by your own rules. Things like, okay, I know I need protein in every meal. I'm gonna get a palm-sized portion of protein in every meal. That'll give me roughly 30 grams, and I know that I need to get that. You might go, Look, I know I need to eat a ton of veg every day and I'm not eating enough. So each one of my meals, I'm gonna get a full hand-sized portion of green veg or yep. colorful veg in there. That's two rules already that if you eat those two bits first on your plate, you're probably saving a bunch of calories before you even get onto your, your start to your carb yep. foods. And you are setting yourself up to win, which is what we're trying to instill all of you with is once we've got control and we can take control of the situation and that we can also accept that we're not in control of everything, we're setting ourselves up to win every single time. Understand there's gonna be times where you, you have one meal in a week or maybe twice a week where you couldn't just get the best thing. Work dictated that you went to the arse in the nowhere and you got fed <laughs> chocolate cake. Yeah, and, and it was unfortunately, really you had to have a 1500 calorie Oreo milkshake <laughs> because it was important <laughs> that day. But don't write everything off because of that one meal. It's not the end of the world. The worst thing you can do is, is you're cutting your nose off to spite your face, really. Basically, just get back on track with things. Okay, that ha shit happens, let's go. Yeah. I've got a broken collarbone, shit happens, let's crack on. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, we hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Don't forget to like the video, share it, comment below, it does us the world of good, and we'll be back answering more of your questions this time next week. See you later.